What's up guys, got a uh, update for you. Um, my small JPC turned out to be like super small for me. I wasn't a big fan of kind of the proportions of the plate bags versus the proportions of like the actual mag flap when I had my P mags in there. Uh, it was really tight, um, kind of running the mags the way I'm used to. So, um, changing gears again. Uh, as I always do, you guys know me, um, I would do like a traditional unboxing, but uh, I picked this stuff up from the post office and one of the packages had been accidentally ripped open, so I had to check, make sure all the contents were there. So um, instead of that unboxing, I just have it all in my two tactical sustainment pack here. So we'll uh, just rummage through this and uh, see what we get here. All right, first thing, um, it's kind of a mixture of shipments here. Uh, this one's from Amazon. Got some retractable ultra fine Sharpies. These are nice. I'm usually used to using the regular fine Sharpies and it's really hard to uh, kind of write legibly with those. So got some nice ultra fine retractable Sharpies. So those are pretty cool. Um, a lot of this stuff is from SKD Tactical, so um, Got some pig pontoons here. Uh, they feel quite a bit more uh, comfortable than the older pontoons I have. Um, I know they changed the uh, the tag on there. I'm not sure if they actually changed the way that they're made. But um, they actually feel a little bit more cushy, cushiony compared to my old pontoons. <clears throat> so that's that. Got some pontoons there. Set those over there. <clears throat> See what else we got in here. Um, part of the other SKD order. So uh, some short malice clips there. Those go with the uh, STEC shorty uh, M4 magazine pouch there. Um, this is going to be on the modular riggers belt, just kind of under here. I'll pull that out here in a second. But this is a lot like the um, double Kiwi pistol mag pouch that I have on my MRB currently holding my Glock mags. So uh, Kydex retention inside, uh, pretty simple pouch. I uh, use this mouse clips on the back there, so had to get those. Um, another thing that's gonna be new, um, I've, had, I've seen this modification done on JPCs, so hopefully it works with what I'm gonna use it for, but these are the STEC Kiwi inserts. Uh, user of, I think it was on Arnie's Airsoft, I think is a form he frequents, but he posted a modification using uh, Kydex inserts, such as the uh, STAC Kiwis inside of a mag insert for such as like a JPC or a CPC. And there's a mod on there. I'll probably try to post the link um, in the description, but you pretty much wrap paracord around these um, to the width of the magazine that you're using, and then you put them each into the mag insert and then you have kydex retention in a mag mag insert flap rather than using a bungee retention on those so we'll see how that goes with my new plate carrier a new plate carrier being my old abs actually um, as i said the jpc was super small and i didn't really want to go to a medium jpc as the medium jpc was a little big for me so here is my abs Got this thing back. Um, I really like the proportions of the ABS. You got a lot of molly space on the back with it still being sized for small uh, sappy plates. So I'm gonna be running it without the harness probably um, for good. The harness is awesome, but definitely not really necessary for airsoft. So that's why I got the pontoons here. So I'm gonna be running the, uh, got some shoulder pads in here, which is kind of new as well. These are the first spear. Um, shoulder pads, so hopefully they'll be better than the uh, stock shoulder covers that the ABS comes with normally. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get this all set up. I don't have the flap on here yet. It hasn't came in. It should be here hopefully tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get everything else set up as far as that goes. Got the pontoons for the AVS. Uh, 9 by 7 by 3 I think is what Cry calls it. That's going to be running the hydro for now. I might go to a back panel eventually, but for now I'm just going to run the hydro on the back. 
Uh, Tier Tactical, 5x5, five five, great pouch. Um, you guys have seen this a lot. Um, highly recommend Tier Tactical. Uh, they make some really, really neat pouches in a variety of sizes. So if you have something specific you need to carry on your play carrier or backpack or anything like that, Tier Tactical usually has something that you can use. Uh, Micro SOFI pack, it's a Velcro cutaway model. And then I have a smoke grenade. I think I might um, try to get um, some type of grenade. So post in the comments what kind of grenades you guys use for airsoft. Um, I'd really like to get into starting to use something uh, along those lines. Something like a distraction device, uh, like a flashbang uh, type deal there uh, for broken home. Uh, so yeah, post in the comments uh, what you guys use. I'm kind of interested in seeing what's out there. I've never really researched it at all. But yeah, there's that. And then finally the shorty. It's probably going to go somewhere around here on my MRB. I might take off the Glock mags for when I use uh, this belt for BB Wars, since right now these are just my real steel Glock mags, as I got rid of my Stark Arms Glock 19. This is just going to be like a belt for a dump pouch and probably just a spare mag uh, for BB Wars anyways. So yeah, quite a bit of stuff here. I'm going to try to get it all set up and probably do a future video um, on everything once I get the... Kiwi modification um, done to the AVS flap that's coming in. Um, other than that, uh, please tell me what kind of grenades you guys like to use for airsoft, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.